Hey, hey, look what's coming up. Look what's coming up. Shit. Hey guys, hey wall, back on the PCT. Hey, it's August 1st, just before 13 or 1 o'clock. Um, just they left Cascade, Cascade Locks. I uh, got there last night and I had a lunch date today with uh, two of my great neighbors from uh, my house in, the, in Portland, in the Milwaukee area. They've been watching my channel, and which was really cool to find out. And they met me for lunch. We had lunch at the uh, Thunder Island Brewery, which is always a good place to go. I had the mac and cheese and an order of french fries. Because I've been, by the time I, last week and a half, I was off on my cabin. Tried to gain as much weight back as I could. So I could uh, burn this last 500 miles out, 500, six miles out, like nothing. But yes, I'm back on the trail. I'm in the state of Washington right now. Pretty excited because I've never done any Washington before. I've, Obviously, I've done all of Oregon, done all of California, but I've never done anything in Washington, so I'm already like what I'm seeing. But uh, so my time off, I spent some time with my son. He was transferring, uh, so he uh, we didn't able to get his vehicle. His vehicle's kind of stuck in a barge coming to Seattle, so it's about four or five days late. So I have to figure that out before going north. And I was able to uh, attend the uh, memorial of my, my neighbor Richard that passed away uh, while I've been on the trail. Uh, Super nice neighbor. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he ALS kind of took it pretty fast in his older age, but uh, he wasn't even that old. He was just 79 when he passed. So, super great guy. Uh, missed him a bunch. But it was nice to see his family show up, his grandkids, great grandkids. They showed up for service. I was glad I was able to attend. So, that was nice. And I've got a, got a bunch of work done around the cabin. I had to split some wood, my son and I. Uh, we had actually two quarts delivered. And I had another two cords to split, so we split about one of them. Got about half done, but I almost filled up my whole woodshed, which was nice. So, things I don't have to do when I finish this up. Oh, man, look at the berries. Oh, my God, look at the berries right here. Check that out. Those are looking beautiful. So, it's good to be here. Ready to be here. Good to be back on the trail. I've had that itch ever since I've been off. And But, um, uh, Charisse, uh, my neighbor... Uh, Sharice and Ryan. Uh, Sharice was able to pick me up and get me right back to my cabin. That was great when I got back there. And it was always good to spend some time at home. The first time I've been at home in close to four months when I started April 7th. So it's great to be back here. We're looking forward to this. I'm trying to catch up to Turkey Base for now. She's waiting. Uh, Thor's probably half a day ahead of me. So if I don't catch them today, I'll probably catch them tomorrow. And I'm moving north. Oh, last shout out to uh, uh, Coastal. Dave, uh, great sponsor for Warriors Expedition, and actually just a great trail angel, lives in Redmond. He picks a uh, hiker every year, helps out, transports him anywhere. I mean, just like, just a super nice guy. So uh, thanks, Dave. Great meeting you. Great conversation the whole time we drove up. It was just great to meet you, and thanks for your service before. Thanks for continuing to serve us as we go down the trail. Man, there's berries everywhere. Holy moly. This is like a berry factory in here. Actually, I'm going to get stuck with some thorns here pretty quick, too. But I'm going to probably do... Yeah, I started late, so I didn't really hit the trail until 1230. So probably do maybe 1015 today. We'll see how it goes. Water spots are... Uh, I don't think there's really... There might be some water up until 10, and then there's nothing until basically like 20. So we will see. But, all right. Time for me to get back hiking. Good to be back. Thanks, guys.
morning guys hey well it is august 2nd just before 9 a.m i'm gonna trail here a nice view right here guys oh wow nice there's the columbia river down there nice is beautiful nice little saddle right here oh but it's, it's kind of hazy from the fires call this the hike of the berries ever since I jumped back on trail yesterday blackberries blueberries thimbleberries I haven't seen any huckleberries yet look at these freaking blueberries are awesome right here oh man they're so big wow oh my god it's sad but I have freeze-dried blueberries from my oatmeal in the morning and I ate them but I could have reached right outside my tent and actually had fresh blueberries yeah, I need to fix that. Uh, last night was also, so I only did about six or seven miles coming from town, kind of a late start. Turkey, ba Turkey Baster and I camped together. And it was funny, there was uh, some weird noises in that night last night. Right before we went to bed, we sleep. There was, uh, it was just weird. There was a um, weird call and I'd heard it before south of Crater Lake. I'm convinced it's a, it's a wolf, and because this morning when I woke up, I can hear pups, and they were they weren't that far from the camp. It was interesting. The 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 evening, the call was like up on a ridge line, but it was real loud, real loud. Holy shit! The first time I heard it, South of Crater Lake, there was a couple of deer in my camp, and an owl was hooting, and then the animal, whatever it was, responded to the hoot. Then I had three deer in my camp and they ran away at the same time. I mean, they were like, that scared the crap out of them. So, not sure what that was. I think it was pretty much a wolf. But, and that was the pups this morning. So, it's just a, getting up in the, getting up in the woods here a little more. Get around to a few more animals, which is pretty cool. So, but, uh, plan for today. Uh, long day today, 25. Longer day today. Well, normal day, 25. I'll pick up my shoes from a Warriors Exhibition sponsor at uh, mile 2179. So, it's our property. Oh, wow. That's a big open, but holy, it's really hazy. It's smoky today. I'm not sure where that smoke's coming from. I guess I'm probably the fires in Oregon. But, um, hopefully nothing new. Okay, it's supposed to be hot. Close to 100 down in Cascade Lock, so it'll be It'll be hot up here, upper 90s, far mid to upper 90s up here. No breeze yet, it's been muggy. Come to the hill, well basically done with the first hill. There's a little bit more here. Basically done with the first hill. Drop down, there's a water point about three miles away. I'll stop and get some water. And then one more decent climb, then all downhill to the sponsor's house. So should get there between five and six. But uh, anything yesterday come over the bridge, uh, met a young lady right outside of the bridge. I was trying to take a selfie of me and the bridge of the guys' photos, and she jumped out there. Uh, super nice. I think she, hope she'll follow me on uh, my YouTube channel. It'll be good to reconnect to her. Really nice. But, but moving on. Meeting a lot of uh, silbos now, which is really neat. First time. A whole bunch of them. I'll probably meet a bunch more today. Met about th well, three this morning. They were coming down. Uh, it was kind of neat to see, kind of remind me when I first started. I was all happy and excited. I mean, I'm happy and excited too, but now, but, but it's just neat seeing that people just starting. Super positive, excited going to town. And it's neat talking to them. Actually, and it's good getting some more info up trail. What's a good place to stop? What's the good food? Something good about the town they went into or whatever. So it's kind of neat. But here comes someone right here. See you later. Hey guys. Just thinking. One of the subjects that I talked about last night in my camp, camp or, um, my campground, well, my 
camping spot <clears throat> was about, and I discussed this with it hiking before too, and I think I discussed it when it first started, is that um, it's, it's weird. Like when I first started, um, the very first day I started, we're at, the, we're at the monument, and Vic looks at me. He's like, hey, dude, are you feeling it? Are you feel it? the gravity of what we're doing here? I mean, you know, and it, I was like, yeah, I felt it. But, you know, I wasn't like super, super excited. And I, I don't think I really realized exactly what I was doing at the very beginning or where I was at and, and the, the magnitude of this entire journey. <clears throat> because I did compartmentalize this a little bit. When I'm taking the sections, didn't want to be overwhelming. And then I kind of, but at the same time, I'm trying to work out some things stuck in my mind about my past. And so, so last night we were discussing, the, like, I was thinking, and I joked with Vic, and I said, okay, well, you know, halfway up the trail, when you see me on the side of the trail crying like a little bitch, you'll know that I, I got there. And I kind of, I kind of, we kind of laughed about that last night, but I, but I was also thinking, you know, it hit me, it hit me when I crossed into Oregon a little bit, the gravity of what I'm doing here. It did. And I know it's made a, a tremendous difference because I know when I started back on April 7th, I had a lot of things in my mind. A lot of stuff is gone. I mean, I shelved it away, kind of worked through it, walked through it, talked to myself about it, you know, kind of worked it through my head and a lot of things have gone, which is great. I don't feel like the burden I had weighing on my shoulders when I first started, not even close. I, you know, but, yeah, but it's weird. You know, it's, I think I've worked through almost everything I've worked through already, but I still feel like the gravity of this, the magnitude of this whole journey has not hit me yet. I don't know if I'll wake up one morning and it'll be overwhelming and I'll start crying like a bitch then, or, or I'll just, it'll kind of, it's been gradually kind of sinking in. I think it's been kind of gradually sinking in because yeah, like, okay, major milestones was obviously walking to Kenny Meadows, mile 700 was a big deal. Uh, the halfway point was a big deal. Uh, but, you know, walking into Oregon was a bigger deal to me. So I think each time I've gotten closer to here, it's I felt the significance of the journey that I'm walking down. So, yeah, I don't know if it'll be like an overwhelming burst. It'll just come out, come, come out at once or if it'll just it'll come out when I finish. I don't know. And so... We were talking about because she was saying she has a little bit of anxiety about she wasn't sure what and i think it's pretty much because we've been walking for 100 plus days right now 120 days almost with the ultimate goal is to go and, and touch this monument at the very finish which is only less than 500 miles in front of me so i think just thinking about that that's probably the reason why we never ever thought about the magnitude because it is overwhelming and it kind of it kind of <clears throat> It, it, you can have like a an effect on you mentally if you think, holy shit, I gotta walk 2,650 miles, 53 miles. I don't know if you can see me right now. I look kind of dark in the picture, but it's actually beautiful out here right now. So I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's already hit me or gradually hit me. I don't know if it will um, hit me all at once. I have no idea. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I'll let you know when I get there. I think I'm already halfway there right now. One example is that talk about working out things. Uh, when I was at my cabin for the week and a half, I went into town. I picked up a uh, turkey baster, Thor, and a uh, navigator. We were all shopping at Food for Less. Went back out and I went back out again. And I, just a uh, chance encounter, I bumped into uh, my ex girlfriend's best friend. And first time I seen her, first time I had seen anybody related to any of the, my past relationship at all since shit, probably January. So it's been a long time. And it was. It actually was a really good chance encounter. It was a, she's a super good person, just a great person. Done a lot of great things around the world. Just massive heart. But I always thought that first in, first encounter, chance encounter with anyone close to her or her would be a big deal to me. And it wasn't. So I'm happy for that. It, it was a little, it, did, it, take, it took me back like a second because it was a little weird. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't thinking about anything like that. And all. And I kind of, like I said, I kind of removed a lot of stuff from my, the, the hard drive, so to, so to speak. And then I, I, I kind of thought about it for a little bit after seeing her, but it's, you know, she's just, a, just such a wonderful person. I mean, uh, it was a seat to see her. Great person. I told her maybe I'm back in town, grab a beer sometime, but we'll see about that. But 
I think if I hadn't have worked through some of those issues, that chance encounter might have been pretty negative, or I might have felt felt bad about it or something. But which is which is so. I think there there's definitely uh, my feelings is I'm I'm showing myself some evidence that this hike actually has made a significant difference to making me uh, a better person. Working through things in my past, which I think have been very therapeutic in this spiritual journey, and I think it actually has been paying off. So. Getting weather, I'm going to wake up one morning crying. <laughs> I'm not an emotional guy. Or it's just going to be a gradual thing as I walk down the trails, I get closer to touch tag that monument. I think it'll be good. So one thing I am doing is I notice noticing the beauty more. My eyes are a little more open. Um, I'm enjoying this hike more. Uh, last night at the campsite, it was just, it was just, it looked like a Hollywood TV set. I mean, it's just incredible. Just the shades of multiple canopy shades the late the shades of green the water the weird sounds at night which were kind of spooky it just was it was amazing so i'm feeling it little at a time or big i have no idea but i'm definitely feeling it so thought i'd share with it, you guys thanks guys you can't see it but i can hear it you can kind of lower the trail here hopefully it's not a bad thing Hey guys, hey, this is right when my glasses is fogged up. It's all steamy today. Nice and humid day again this morning. Hey, but it's uh, Tuesday, August 3rd. It's about 7 o'clock. Uh, I took off from camp about 30 minutes ago. Just kind of trucking along, big climb today. Just left uh, <clears throat> 2179, 2180, where I picked up um, Slysdo Road. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But I picked up my final pair of shoes yesterday from a Warriors Exhibition uh, sponsor family uh, Angie Matt and their two daughters uh, super nice kind of welcomed us there to pick the shoes kind of hung out gave us some fr fr frozen blueberries which were really good fresh cucumbers Matt gave me some uh, smoked salmon and some uh, antelope pepperoni sticks which are actually really awesome I had a couple of them last night and I'm going to or eat the rest of them today i'm sure <clears throat> and the salmon i'm gonna have to eat that pretty quick but the smoked salmon so uh that was very cool thanks guys and they said it was their first time kind of hosting a warriors expedition they've been doing it for a while but it's the first time because they're so cl close to cascade locks a lot of people just bypass their house and so but a beautiful place i mean just amazing amazing beautiful uh i don't know if you call it a farm ranch probably ranch right on the pct which is real cool and on the wind river which is really neat so that was beautiful and so today but thanks guys totally appreciate it today uh we're thinking about doing between 20 and 25 at 20 there's a i think it's called duck lake and then 25 there is blue lake or blue lakes so we'll see how uh, uh turkey buster is doing today it was a little hot and humid it kind of uh kicked your butt yesterday the humidity is pretty rough. So <clears throat> it's supposed to be it's supposed to be as hot, but hopefully it's not as humid today. But it's already starting out in humid, so it might be just another hot humid day. But it was probably upper 80s, probably 90 yesterday. Super humid. Kind of remind me of being back in North Carolina. But <clears throat> hopefully today will be a little different. The winds are supposed to change. And then probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there's a significant chance of rain. So it's definitely going to be cooler. Well, might be a little wet. It kind of makes sense. So I get to Washington, how green this place is, and get some rain. But uh, the berries are everywhere. In fact, we're going to run into some huckleberries here pretty quick the next two days. We've ran into huckleberries so far, blueberries. Um, I haven't seen any wild raspberries, but I've seen blackberries, uh, thimbleberries. Oh, there's another one that Matt told me. It, was a, it looks like a thimbleberry, but it's purple. Um, something blue caps or something it was called but they were really good so it's kind of what we do is we graze along the way eat some pretty good in fact i had fresh blueberries from their house uh, this morning my oatmeal that was really cool but uh other than that things are going good got my 
last pair of shoes. That's my last pair of shoes I'll have on the entire PCT, which is pretty neat. Right now we're uh, 2181, probably 2182. So we're hitting 22 today, 2200 today. In fact, the first leg is right at 2200. Second leg is like 2225 or 2205. So we'll see how the day goes. If we do that right, we'll get into track like tomorrow, uh, late afternoon. If we do the 20, we'll get in there Thursday morning either way. It'll be good. We'll get there before it starts raining. Make sure our gear is all ready for the rain. And uh, should be good. All right, guys. Hope everybody's doing good at home. It's nice to be in Washington. It's nice to be closer to this final goal as we're moving north. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. It's still Tuesday. Um... It's been hot as balls the last couple of days, so we've been kind of struggling, kind of moving forward. But nice thing, uh, kind of debating on where to camp tonight, so I decided to go to a, to a trailhead parking lot with a pit toilet, no water, so I'm carrying all my water this way. And the southbound hiker approached me and goes, are you Mike? I said, well, yeah, I am. I'm AWOL too, but he's like, hey, uh, Jay and Sally are waiting for you at the uh, trailhead parking lot. Jay and Sally are my neighbors in uh, Milwaukee, and uh, they that I had lunch with three days ago, Cascade Locks, I had lunch with on <clears throat> Sunday. So I had lunch with Sunday, and before I left, Jay told me, said, hey, we might surprise you and give you some trail magic somewhere. So it's actually pretty neat, especially after two brutal, hot, humid days. It's nice to know in a half a mile down the trail here. I'm gonna get some trail magic, so that's pretty cool. That's they're they're super great people. So glad to see them again. So so hot days, but then he'll, he'll have a nice ending. So that was pretty cool. Thought I'd share with you guys. You can hear the vibrations of it. Yeah. Morning, guys. It is Wednesday, August 4th, just about mm, 8 in the morning. Been on the trail for about 30 minutes now. <clears throat> um, just finished the first climb of the day, got a couple smaller climbs after this. Shouldn't be too bad. Still be hot again today. The last couple days have been super, super humid and hot. Supposed to be 90 down there. Well, hopefully, it won't be too bad up here, but. Actually got a little bit of elevation right now for <clears throat> here, but and tons of vegetation. It's like oh, look at this. Blueberries right here. Wild blueberries everywhere up here. Been kind of going along. I promise the mosquitoes are crazy this morning. Haven't been this way in a long time, but so these ones are quite not ready yet, but <clears throat> they will be soon. <clears throat> but uh Yesterday finished up, it was nice, finished up, uh, Jay showed up and actually uh, brought some trail magic to the trail. That was pretty nice. Actually brought me a Subway sandwich <laughs> and some beer, Gatorade. Then he went to the store and uh, there was a <clears throat> hiker, a dark horse. She was uh, she had a real bad case of uh, poison oak, so he was going to drive. He actually drove her to town. Yeah, look at these blueberries right here. These are pretty. Hmm. So he drove Dark Horse to uh, Trout Lake. <clears throat> and what he did, he picked up some food for uh, 
uh, turkey baster. <clears throat> Brought her a sandwich and stuff, so that was really nice. But uh, thanks a bunch, Jay. That was really nice. Uh, <clears throat> I know you said you were going to do it. I was surprised you did it so fast. Probably the trail magic, but actually it was perfect timing because <clears throat> the last two days being <clears throat> so brutally hot out here. It's been a it's been an interesting couple days. So, well, so when I first jumped on Cascade Locks, we about six or seven. Just a short because it was a short day. Next day, I did 27. A day after that, which yesterday, fairly squeezed at 18. <clears throat> so it was just a little bit. Of, Having that time off my cab, it's always a little, takes a little while to get back to kind of get to a good rhythm again. So, hopefully, <clears throat> getting into trout like today, uh, got to get resupply, do a little laundry, shower. Uh, I think there's a real hotel in town, so grab a hotel room and <clears throat> relax. So, but I think after resetting in trout lake. My body be feeling good and I'll be able to put some miles back on again. But uh beautiful morning so far, not too hot, but it is well, eight o'clock and I can already feel the sun pretty good. I got a feeling it's gonna be a hot day. Alright guys, hope everybody's doing good at home. And I will chat with you later. Well one thing I was gonna add, hey, Alexandria and Shelby, this is for you. The question about using the bathroom outdoors. Uh <clears throat> where we camped at last night was actually a trailhead parking lot and it actually had a pit toilet. A pit toilet is just a toilet, doesn't flush, it just got a big hole and you sit on there, take care of business. But it is actually better than going outdoors and so it kind of it, it probably helps um, the trail a little bit so less stuff around here. But it's there. So not all the time I go to the bathroom in the woods. Sometimes there's a pit toilet. Or like in town tonight, it'll be a real toilet in the hotel room. So, there you go. <laughs> Try like that. Cute red house. Mm, these people, these houses belong to the Nelsons so they're back oh. there. Nice. And, uh, this is it. This is downtown, huh? Well, this is it. <laughs> one block on. Oh. And, uh, 